Hello again year one, here's your maths lesson, week five, lesson three. Let's start off with that speed challenge again, so number down your whiteboard, one to ten. Okay, you need to choose level one, subtraction, and today we're going up to twenty. But it won't just be minus a one digit number, it could be more. Let's have a look. Choose how many seconds you want to give yourself to answer each question. Give it a go, do your marking and then try and beat your score or give yourself less time per question to answer. Keep setting yourself challenges. More capacity. Last one, I promise. <laughs> Today we're going to make a capacity measure and I'm going to use an empty Coke bottle and the good old yoghurt pot to help me. So here's today's setup. Yoghurt pot, empty bottle and funnel to help <laughs> keep spillages down. So I simply pour in one yoghurt pot full of water and with a pen I've marked where the top of the water comes to and I've put a one next to it. Now we'll do that again. Here I go. So that's two yoghurt pot fulls in and again I've marked the top of the water and I've written a two because that is two yoghurt pot fulls of water. Can you do the same on a coke bottle and go all the way up making your scale for measuring? Once you've finished marking off your pop bottle, have a look at this sheet. It's in the emergency folder, but it should also be in your pack. You need to choose four containers and fill them full of water. Pour each one into your pop bottle and see how many yoghurt pots full it held. Try to use containers of different shapes and different sizes. I'm starting with my cactus glass. You can see I've filled it. Now I need to pour it into my measurer. You need to wait for the level of the water to sit still and make sure that bottle's flat on the surface. You don't want it tilting and you won't get a true reading look. That says one. If I tilt it forwards, I can make it say do yoghurt pot fulls. But actually, look, it's in between one and two yoghurt pot fulls. So it's about one and a half yoghurt pot fulls, isn't it? Now you might not believe me and you might not be sure with your measurer. So the best thing to do is just to check it if you like. So that was one yoghurt pot full. Whoop. And about half a yoghurt pot full too. Now when you've completed your table, get yourself some square paper and you should be able to make a bar graph of your results. So here's the square paper and you can see I've drawn a line along the bottom, the horizontal axis, and I've drawn one up the top, the vertical axis. Now down here I'm going to draw a picture of the containers that I measured. So I use my measurer to measure the capacity of a cactus glass, a little jug, a vase and a really big glass. Now up the side here we're going to number the squares. This will be how many yoghurt pot fulls each container held. So with your bar graphs or your bar charts you always start with one at the bottom and work your way up. Remember to get those numbers the right way round. Do you remember my cactus glass was more than one yoghurt pot full, but not quite two yoghurt pot fulls on my measurer. It was halfway between the one and two. So you can see I've coloured in one and a half of the squares in that column. Now you'll be able to colour a lot more neatly than me. It's pretty tricky on a whiteboard. How about my jug then? How much did that hold? came to the top of bar number two. So it held two yoghurt pot fulls of water. When I measured my vase, it went up to the number five on my measurer. So I've coloured in one, two, three, four, 
five squares to show that. Now the glass held three. So where should that come up to? Those are my results and I wonder what yours are, what your bar chart will look like. So which one of my containers has the biggest capacity? Which one has the least capacity? How about this trickier question? How many more yoghurt potfuls of water does my vase hold than the glass? And the same up to there, but it's one, two more yoghurt potfuls, wasn't it? How about looking at the jug now? How many fewer yoghurt potfuls does it hold than the vase? See that they're the same to here. One, two, three less. Now around the world, we don't really measure in yoghurt potfuls of water. We measure capacity in something called litres. Have a look at a measuring jug in your house or a bottle that holds one litre. You probably won't find the word litre on your bottle it will have an L. It's just like we don't write the word plus or add, we shorten it to a symbol. So we shorten L litres to L. Having said that, this juice bottle does say litre. So have a think. Have a look around the house. Can you think of some things that would hold less than a litre? And some things that might hold more than a litre. What about your bath? And on your squared paper you can make a simple table like this. So one column you're going to draw all the containers you found that you think hold less than one litre. Down here draw all the things that you think will hold more than one litre. If you can use a measuring jug or an empty one litre bottle and test them out. That's it for today. Hope you had fun with all that measuring. Don't forget to clear up. See you tomorrow boys. Bye.